My biggest regret is probably not being as serious as I am now when I was in college. A lot of the, 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 the expectations and very short string of patience that I have or tolerance for unprofessionalism or people who are late or people who I feel like kind of wasting my time like that comes from like being chastised and, and, and chastised and reprimanded while I was in college like may, ha, be being that kid in college where you're like that black depth the only black dude in this class with all these other kids and you're like because you're nodding off you know from being up late or whatever or just boredom your teacher eventually one day isolates you and makes you sit next to him this dude named Tony McKay and he would be like he had one of those really like uh, actor voices and he would be like he'd be like W oh W W oh you just you know he'd be like you remind me of of me and then just you you have potential but you just you know you need discipline and you're gonna sit next to me you know and I'd be like oh and man I would try so hard to stay awake sometimes and the other kids they they would they would cheer on for me and they would just try and then other ones would really I think was so siced when I would get caught um, but yeah if there's any regret that I have is that I definitely probably wish I would have um, just, just, you know, just practice a, a, lot, a lot more uh, discipline and self-restraint um, while I was in school because there are a lot of crappy actors from my class who I see on a lot of movies and, and TV shows now. <laughs> I mean, not crappy, but what I'm saying, like, they weren't like the, one of the, they weren't the strongest actors in my class, and it disturbs me that you know the kids I remember who were strong, and you know, anyway, I, yeah. Uh, and I was from Northeast DC too, man. I, this is my first time being isolated and around like white folk, like in close count, count, you know, quarters like that. There were a couple white kids that schooled out walls. Um, and, well, more than a couple, I guess. But then before that, I didn't really, you know, um, spend that much time. So it was an element of culture shock, too. And I saw a part of me, the revolutionary in me, felt a little embarrassed that I probably, you know, it, it could have come off like, oh, of course the black one is like nodding off or something. Like, so, but who cares about that shit? I'm not, excuse me, uh, that stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, who, who cares about that? Um, because those people, uh, uh, they didn't make me um, or break me. They just contributed to, like, you know, me. They just, they, they just were. I, t I have a thing where I say, uh, you know, uh, where I tell people I did a bid at Carnegie Mellon, got what I needed from the hustle they were selling then jumped up on the scene, both feet, I'm gelling. I'm in a business full of crooks and felons. So that's, a, that's like a, a, a line from one of my songs. So when I, when I look at Carnegie Mellon, um, that, that experience, even though, you know, how I, now I, you know, from you asking me that question, it now even, it's giving me now another, uh, a, a new uh, realization of how, why I even, Consciously and subconsciously always referred to my experience there as doing a bid like doing serving hard time Because in many ways there was there was an element of regret that um, That's that will always uh, Stick with me in that really my relationship with that school and uh, it was a very love-hate kind of relationship because there are teachers as years that went on who would often you know, refer to me with with uh, other younger black actors who were coming in um, after I w I was there, and uh, that was that 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 made it bittersweet, you know, to let me know that 
at the end of the day, I, I had some kind of impact on those people as much as they did on me. And maybe it just took us years later as, as more mature people to, to uh, realize that. So that's my regret, man. <laughs>